Hello. There's a protest on its way down here. Just watch Hello. your TVs. Yeah. I'm not saying they do anything on purpose, but you might accidentally. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll stand by. Then. Sure do you have Amazon Prime? Uh, no, I don't. Know. No. Why? I've made a documentary called Pignorant, a lot of it filmed in Manchester. Oh, right. What's and, uh, it about? Basically, it documents the journey to expose UK first footage from inside pig gas chamber. Oh, and it'll show you how... It will. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the industry know people like animals, and that's why they market a certain image to people. And uh, I had to force the transparency from the industry because, unfortunately, they won't do that because they'll lose customers. So. Yeah. But it's interesting. Yeah, I don't like seeing that. Picture. You don't want to, no. <laughs> That's a standard UK practice. If you go into where the mums are, where the piglets are born, 60% of those mums are in cages. You know, and that's the UK. And you don't see that in the supermarket when you go to buy it. And you also, 90% of the pigs go to a gas chamber and you might think, oh, it might be sleeping gas, but it's uh, CO2 gas actually. You know, it burns when you drink too much Coke and it's aversive. Yeah, you can imagine what it's like for the pigs. And it's RSPCA assured corrupt. Do you know the RSPCA assured are supposed to protect animals and police animal cruelty, yeah. but they certify with their logo meat from pigs who are killed in these gas chambers. And they should have brought this footage out. It's been happening for decades here. I had to. It's not good, is it? Yeah. So how are you supposed to trust? Yeah. I understand. Best way is to be a vegan. You don't have to worry then. True? You have to worry about if the animal, how was the animal treated? Well, you didn't have to have any part in it. Bless you. Friends that eat Allah, I don't have haram no. friends. I don't have haram friends. Allah, I swear. <laughs> hey, thank you. I've followed you hey, for a few months now. Oh, yeah. I want to say thank you very much. Thank you so much. Doing. Yeah. Appreciate it, so man. I've been, I've been vegetarian for three years now. Yeah. Yeah. That break into vegan is what I'm struggling with. Why, is, why, why are you struggling, brother? It, it's just, probably like, I mean, convenience is a big part of it, and I know that. I know I can. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm getting there. Boycott the animal torture is the Absolutely. Best. No, yeah. I think Stand strong. an amazing thing. Thank you. Like, I need to. Have you seen Pickering? No, I haven't. I haven't got Amazon. Okay. But, like, my you friend, can sign up for free and watch it and then cancel. I mean, yeah. <laughs> No, I wouldn't. But I recognised you straight away and I was like, yeah, because I think it's amazing Thank what you're doing. I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah, and I was like, oh no, is he going to get hurt if no, we've no, all no, that going on? We support. I like that we cause as well. Protesting, but... yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Good luck. Bless you, mate. Thank you so much. Look, it killed him. That's it. Killed him. That takes a long time to kill him. Can't trust halal meat either, bro. Can't trust halal either. In this country, mm -mm. I promise you. You don't know what they're doing to the animals. And what's that? What's happening in there? Gas chamber. What does that mean? Basically, this is a... If you imagine like a Ferris wheel, like in a, in a theme park, it's like a... Like this, yeah. Cages on the Ferris wheel. All right. And it goes down into a pit full of gas. Burns them. Burns them. And they get terror. They get fear and they sh** themselves. It's horrible. Why are they doing this for? Why? For meat. Could they not raise them normally enough to just kill them? Yeah. Industry. How many people want meat? Hmm. Millions want meat. Millions want meat. You know, uh, veganism, 
is veganism is where you don't well, eat it, anything yeah, from an animal. Know, know. This is compatible with Islam as well. Look, look. It's the most compassionate. Look. This is uh, birthing. You should see, wait till you see chickens and, and cows and lambs. Same, same. You have compassion, okay? Compassion in your heart. The most compassionate thing to do, to leave animals alone, plant based. Is the thing it? is, uh, the thing is, I cannot believe why they're doing this for. Why could they not just leave them leave and when they want like to kill the punk, just kill it and that's it. Don't like. Because they need millions of people to get meat. And when you have millions of people when the animal, animals are now a product, you're not, they're not doing this out of need. They're doing this because everyone wants to eat what they want to eat. Right? Yeah, but you can just grow them normally. You don't have to traumatize the, the no. stuff. Then you can't mass produce for everyone. If everyone wants eggs, right? You have to have a lot of chicken sheds. A lot of chickens, millions of chickens. And how are you supposed to look after every individual chicken? You can't. So if people want to go to the store and buy animal products, you're going to have this stuff happen across the board, even with halal meat. The best thing to do the, the, is to be a vegan. And no religion mandates meat in. No, no religion says you have to eat meat. Look, pork, eat all the pork, look. Yeah. And, and chicken farmers have look. it. Look! This happens on chicken farms as well, dude. Exactly the same thing. What the f is happening? Animals die in farms all the time. Are the they other animals. Are they like still selling it, selling it? No. No, they'll throw them in the bin. Um, and they're burning them or something like that? Just, yeah, incinerate them. Yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look! Yeah. How could they do this? Because the animals are products now. They're not animals, they're products. You understand? Look, look. Oh my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he wants to get rid of them, and that's it. Look, Duke, look. Yeah. He doesn't need them anymore, and that's it. That's, that's the meat industry, bro. That's the meat industry. The egg industry and the milk industry is the same. In my mom's life, I will never eat eggs again. Never drink milk again. I never eat nothing from no chicken. One lot a lot is up on what is moving now. Nothing. It's all haram. When you think about like um, halal in, food, halal food. It's just all you can see is you trust the logo that says halal. It says halal. halal. That's it. There's no possible way to get this amount of meat to people halal. And also, being vegan is halal. Bro, I don't understand. I don't understand. Why did you have like to do that to them? Because they can kill more pigs in a in in a cage than they can just going like this. They can squeeze them all in. That's why gas chambers are used. For chickens as well, they use gas chambers. But they use them because they can kill as many animals as possible to feed as many people as possible. So those porks were killed to be cooked? To be eaten. When you I go saw to... a video with the yeah. guy having a knife, stabbing a pork so many times. Yeah. And after, and after the, the pork was dead. Yeah. And I was like, what the f is happening? Chickens is, honestly, I think chickens is a bit worse, personally, because they're fragile little birds and they, in the factory farms, they, they, they grow so big and they snap their leg. They, even uh, halal chicken, all of that, bro, it's, I'm telling you, it's, it's terrible. I could show you some pictures, but I don't think I have to. Like, but Can you? Please. I could show you, Please. like a chicken farm. I'm not gonna eat one lie, I promise to you, nothing. So you can check land of hope and glory. How are they treating the small pigs then? They grab them by their back legs. When they're sick, they smash their head on the ground. It's called blunt force trauma. How did you go all this? Secret filming. Secret. Yeah, I did. I did this. Me oh, and my like, my team. To buy some and like, you... I'm investigator. Investigator. They... So are you secretly over there, or he knows that you're filming? No, secret. He secret. doesn't know that you're there. No. You don't Wallah. tell him. Walla. Yeah. I, I sneak on their property. Say walla, cousin. Yeah, walla. I swear to God. I'll show you. Um, dairy, for example, is they take the the calves from the mum. They keep them here away from the mum, which is just sad, makes it, a mum makes them sad. They use them like this, you know? And when they, they, they don't produce enough milk anymore, they send them. This is a truck, slaughterhouse. They kill the mums. They kill the, they kill the calves as well. This so you, Muslims, right, don't think about cheese and milk. Because back when the Hadith was, it's was written, haram, it's haram now. 100%. It's not one goat taking a little bit of milk, looking after the goat. It's not that. It's industry. It's not like the time before. Me. It's not like the time back then. You know how things change, you know, like, and eggs, like, you know, eggs are automatically halal, but they shouldn't be because now it's industry. The, the animals are in so much look, suffering. Look now, mate. Yeah. They treat them like And the only reason they get away with this is because people donate to How them. How did you get this? 
You could watch a documentary up ignorant. You've seen that you got this already? Watch this on Prime, you'll see how I did it. You watch it, yeah, yeah, watch it. Yeah, you'll see how I did it. It's uh, pretty dangerous. But I'm not going to watch it by myself, I'm going to show my whole family. <laughs> <laughs> see you, brother. Allah, Bless you, mate. Bless you. Take care.